Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back and thanks for joining me. As you can probably tell, it's balloon smash time. So uh, I've decided to um, try something different. I've done this before. I actually have done a few pieces, but they were never on camera. Um, this was before I started my YouTube channel. Um, so I really liked the way they had turned out. And it's been a long time since I did any balloon smash. So I figured, what the heck, let me try one. And I figured since the balloons are round and the shapes are gonna be round, I might as well do it on a round. So I have two just regular balloons. I've done two different shapes, or I mean sizes, one big one, one little one. I have a 20 inch wood round here. Okay, and I have taped the back. Now I primed it first with a coat of gesso. And then once that was dry, I actually took the white that I use for my Dutch pours. I actually um, totally flooded this with white um, and I let it dry. So there's a nice clear, not clear, a nice um, white coat of paint on here because in order to do a balloon smash, if I had flooded it and it was all still wet and then I poured all my colors on top and I went to smash it with the balloon, um, the white would just suck it all up. So I have to have a dry white surface in order to do this. So I've got a ton of colors um, from my squeeze bottles here from my Dutch pours, as you can see, uh, did I miss any? I think I wanted to use this color too. Um, so I've shaken them all up, they're all good to go. Um, you could, doesn't have to be the Dutch pour mix. Um, it could be a thicker mix. Um, I'm just too lazy to mix paints and I'm pretty sure this will work. Um, if not, you'll watch me fail together. Um, but it should, it should work just fine. Um, if you saw my last video, where I did the 10 by 20 with the primary elements. Um, and everyone said, oh, it looks like a scarf. I could not agree more. It looked stunning. Now, do you notice I say past tense, looked. So this has never, ever, ever happened to me before. Um, maybe once actually. Um, but I guess for some reason, um, I didn't check to see if my canvas was level. Something was wrong. And when I came down the next morning to the basement to check on my piece, okay, ready? Don't cry. This is what happened. No. Um, the whole thing just slid right off. So unfortunately, the scarf decided to fly away in the wind um, and the piece is kind of ruined. Um, not kind of, it is ruined. But I will tell you this though, which I didn't know, um, the polypore actually leaves a really nice, do you see that? Do you see the shine on there? It's actually so shiny and has a nice thick coat to it that it's actually like I varnished it with two coats. So there's a really good thing here about the polypore um, that you don't need to varnish anything once, you, once you're done because it is shiny as ever and it looks so nice. I gotta say, it looks awesome. Unfortunately, this happened. So that's it for that. I'm sorry if anyone wanted to buy it. I'm not selling it, clearly. Um, this is going gonzo. So I'm gonna have to try that again, of course, and thin out my white. But uh, next time I'm gonna make sure my piece is level because that would be uh, a real disappointment if that happens again. Speaking of level, I'm gonna make sure my piece, not that I'm pouring on it, but it's still nice to know if my piece is level, which it is. So again, I have no idea what happened with the other one, but it is what it is. I can't take it back, so let's move on. All right, so um, my idea for this is rainbow theme. I'm gonna take every color in the rainbow and just start making puddles. So that's what I plan on doing, and that is what I'm gonna do. And I hope this doesn't turn into a mess because a it's a big round, and I kinda wanna see it turn out nice. So uh, let's hope I can get this to work out nicely. 
and you guys can see it. So I've been really anxious to do it and I had to wait like two days for the white paint to dry. So it's finally dry, yay! And uh, I'm finally able to pour or do art on it. That's the worst thing about painting is waiting for something to dry. All right, let's, I uh, wonder if I should add white to some of these. I wonder, I'll do this one without it for now, but let's see. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> now I'm just gonna wipe the balloon um, because I don't want these colors transferring onto my next smash. So this is the pain in the butt is you have to actually wipe the balloon off. Um, all right, that is pretty neat actually. I really like the way that turned out. All right, so let's do, it's hard to decide what colors to use now. Um, all right, let's do, um, so that was actually, um, greenish blue by Amsterdam, bright aqua green and dioxazine purple. This is deep magenta. Let's go with, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, prism violet. Let's do some prism violet. Prism violet and let's add some, I don't know, light magenta, I guess. Or should I add some turquoise? Uh, let's add some turquoise. Why not? Okay. Let's uh, see what comes out of this one. I wonder if I should add some white. Let's try this first. That's cool. All right, I'm gonna try and do um, all the colors of the rainbow. And as a kid, I was growing up and I was always told the best way to remember the colors of the rainbow is to go Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. That's the only way I remember about rainbows and what order they it comes, starts with and ends with. So, um, I want to do, let's do greens. All right, so let's go with uh, the phthalo green. Let's plunk it right here. Um, let's go, I think I'm going to add, oh gosh, I don't even know. I don't know. Yellow, this might be a bad idea. Problem is, if this doesn't turn out, it's not like I can scrape it and start again because the white is dry. So I have to be careful with what I'm doing here because there's no scraping happening. All right, let me make sure my balloon has no turquoise or blue in it. All right, let's see what this... Ooh, iridescent. Look at the balloon. Look how cool that is. All right. This is gonna get messy. All right, I think I'll try some little balloons. Um, phthalo blue. Uh, let's mix some blues and, oh gosh, I don't know. Let's do some orange. I'm gonna need more paper towel. All right. Uh, I really kind of want to make this rainbowish. So what if I did, although there's no copper in a rainbow, but I still like copper. So what the heck, let's give it a try. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna mix it with. Um, permanent, permanent blue violet. And Let's add some phthalo blue. Oh gosh, I, I'm just totally playing here. I have no clue. All right, let's use the uh, little balloon. Ooh, so the phthalo blue took over big time. However, I can see, oh, look at the, um, 
The cells coming out on that. That's neat. That's really cool. All right, I think I'm gonna try some, wow, look at the cells. That's crazy. All right, I'm gonna try, um, well, if I did yellow and red, that's gonna turn into brown, so that's not gonna work. So let's go with, um, I'm gonna do greenish blue and I'm gonna add yellow. I'm gonna do a teeny tiny balloon here. I'm gonna add yellow and I'm actually gonna add a smidge of white. Let's put some white in here. Um, or should I just leave it those two colors? I don't know. I kind of felt like I should have practiced this before on a smaller piece. Ooh, that's nice. That's kind of cool actually. All right, clean off my balloon. I'll do a small one in here, but I need some popping colors. Maybe I'll do uh, yellow and orange. Yellow. And I hope this is not a bad idea. And orange. So, you know what? I am gonna add white to this. White. All right, let's see. Ah, I like it. And that looks like a nice sun. All right, wipe down my balloon. I like that. So now, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take some red. I like the way the uh, white. So I'm gonna do red and white. It'll probably turn pink though, eh? Hmm. You know, what I could do is grab some paper towel and before I mess up the canvas, I could, can you see what I'm doing? No, you can't. Um, I'm just gonna give it a quick tester, sorry, on a napkin, just to see if I'm gonna end up with a kerfuffle or something decent, which that didn't work. So. All right, red with, oh boy, um, red with, not green, that's for sure. Maybe I'll do, um, oh my gosh, can you guys like scream at me and tell me what to use? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, okay, you know what, I'm just going to do white and see what happens. It's gonna be like a pinky red. That's all right. That's all right. Oh man, more paper towel. Okay. I think my favorite are these two. Absolutely, actually I really like that too. Uh, okay, so now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Hmm, I think I wanna do some more pink and purple here. Let's go with Amsterdam Permanent Red Violet. Right there. With some um, Prism Violet. Why not? Prism Violet. And you know what? Some light magenta. Let's do that. All right. Uh, little balloon. Let's do the little balloon. I like it. That's cool. But I want to make sure my circles are, that's better. I want my circles to be perfectly round. So I just re-dipped real quick and made sure it was round. Let's see, something here. I think I'm gonna do, um, let's go with phthalo blue. Let's see, actually, what about some of my iridescence? Oh, how could I have forgotten metallic cobalt blue? Oh man, all right, metallic cobalt blue. I think I'm gonna put that on the top though. So let's go 
um, bright aqua green down here. And then I'm going to add phthalo blue. And, whoa, got a little splash. Oh, no. I'm going to have to clean that off. Just watch that you don't get any paint on the white. Okay, gone. Okay, and some metallic cobalt. Uh, all right. There we go. And let's see what happens here. Ooh, pretty. I wonder if I could redip the same color in another spot, like here. Oh, I can. That was cool. So, um, I like it. And I think I'm going to do some phthalo green here on the edge just a little bit with um, some of the cadmium green hue like that all right so let's try that that's good but I kind of didn't get that full circle there and I'm still not getting the full circle all right let's try that again there we go there I like how it went off the edge that's kind of neat all right so let's see while I'm sitting here doing this I should mention you may have seen uh, I am doing uh, actually I'm going to redip this I am doing a live auction on Sunday if you haven't seen my video where I show you the preview items of what is up for grabs uh, check it out it's the video before this one and uh, don't forget to tune in on Sunday for the live auction. Uh, it's going to be at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I like that. I'm going to do that here. Uh, orange and yellow, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. And uh, I have about, I think, 30 pieces. So if you're around, Feel free to uh, join in to the live auction. I'd love to see you there. Uh, big thank you to uh, Diane. Whoa, that's not the right lid. Uh, to Diane for your PayPal donation. Thank you very much, Diane. And uh, for those of you who still don't know or wondering where the clips of Juno are, uh, they are on his YouTube channel. So go and check out Juno's YouTube channel. Um, the link to his channel is listed below in the description or just search Juno the Husky and you will find him. Okay. Um, I wonder if I, what should I do? What should I do? I kind of want, I don't want it looking so it, like I'm looking at it and it's looking like lines so I kind of need to break that up a bit so I think I'm going to do some maybe yellow and green here or blue yeah you know what I'm going to use ultramarine blue if I can get the lid off all right Gosh, holding a balloon is really a pain in the butt. All right, so some ultramarine blue and a smidge of yellow to make some green, like so. And let's do that. Ooh, look at that little yellow ring. That's kind of cool but I want more yellow in there. So 
So I'm going to add a bit more. I'm going to try that again. There we go. All right. Okay, I'm almost done here. I kind of like this. It's pretty cool. Um, maybe I'll put some more in here. Let's see. How can I mess with this? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe some dioxazine purple with some light magenta and a hint of white. There we go. All right. Ooh. Oh, look it. It touched the uh, the copper there, which is kind of neat. All right. Um, what should I put here? I do love that green. Maybe I'll put it here. I do like that green. Um, oh, I should try my iridescence, like I said. But let me just put some green here first. So I did that green with this green. And I'm going to put a smidge of a white, I mean, on that. All right. Cool. All right, so I'm going to try some of my iridescent from Pebeo that I love so much. And let's see, this is the, actually let's do the iridescent green blue. Give it a quick shake. And we'll put that here with, with dioxazine purple. All right, let's see. There we go. Jeez, this balloon smash takes longer than a Dutch pour. I'd be done by now. This is crazy. Didn't realize how long this would take. All right, so let's go. Um, hmm. I really do like the yellow. Uh, Maybe what I'll do is yellow with just white, just to get that pop of color. Um, yeah, let's try that. Actually, what if I put a smidge of red on there over the white? I don't know, I'm kind of scared to do that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm worried to do that, so let's not. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it after all this work. So, all right. I think I'm just going to do one more here. I really like that, but I, I feel like it's too small. So I think I'm going to go try that again. So I think that was green, blue. I hope so. I hope so. And yellow. Uh, I guess I'll have to, it's too late now, but I'll check it. You know what? I'm going to add some white to that. All right. There we go. A bigger circle. I prefer that. But I don't know if I like that color, though. Uh, messing around, messing around. See, this is, I guess you could just always fix it by pouring on top of it. Why not? Boy, that is, all right. Good thing it's on the edge here, because then, there we go. Okay, much better. All right, where am I at? 24 minutes, oh my gosh. Okay, um, one more here. What shall I do? What shall I, I really love this and I don't even remember what I did. That's the kicker here. I have no idea what I did there. I know I used turquoise. So let's do um, magenta and the turquoise again. 
and some metallic cobalt blue although that's a pretty big puddle she's a big puddle so let's kind of make her go over the edge why not that works so if I go like this now it's a slippery sucker all right okay not much talking for me today I'm just so busy concentrating my goodness okay I think I'm gonna leave it I'm kind of worried about this spot if I should do anything here um, maybe a small spot maybe some oh gosh I don't know I don't know um gosh I don't know okay turquoise some oh no that wasn't turquoise ah that was iridescent blue green all right well let's try some turquoise let's add some dioxazine purple and aqua green that's what I wanted to add all right that's cool and it's dripping off the edge nice okay I think that's it um, I think you get the point so that's look at my hands that's crazy let me bring you guys down for a close-up and then I'm gonna clean up um, there's no point in doing that on camera so let me bring you guys down let me show you what this looks like so when this is all dry it's gonna get a coat of resin on it um, and then it'll really look pretty cool so if you're interested in this piece um, feel free to email me um, and let me know if you want it um, a lot of people have been doing that a lot lately when they see my pieces on video on when I release videos um, it's basically first come first serve um, basically whoever pays for the piece first gets it like I've had uh, a lot of people inquire about the triptych um, but it went to the person who bought it and paid for it first um, so unfortunately that's how it works when you're emailing me about a piece so if you're interested um, shoot me an email my email is listed in the description below um, as well as all my other information my social media links my paypal link if you'd like to donate to help support me and my channel that would be very much appreciated um, if you are a new watcher please hit that subscription button and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the notification bell and if you guys are already subscribed check your subscription button anyway and check your notification bell because there are a lot of people who have been telling me that everything's been turned off and they had no idea i was even releasing videos so that's it for now um, don't forget to check out juno's channel and subscribe there um, and that's it thank you very much guys don't forget about the auction this sunday at 6 p.m eastern standard time i'll catch you guys soon thanks for watching take care bye hey guys i'm back so after i stopped recording um, i did a few more smashes with the balloon I decided that it was too bare and I needed to add some more color and more circles um, and I even overlapped on some as you can see uh, and I really like it actually I like the way um, they overlap each other it uh, looks pretty neat so this is the final product so let me know what you guys think and again if you're interested in this piece when it is dry it will get a clear coat top coat of um, resin so it'll have a nice shine to it and the colors will pop and uh, if you want it let me know shoot me an uh, email okay that's it guys thanks for watching take care bye